un, dos, y un, dos, tres, y... Bueno, sí. Gotta get right in the mood, bro. I gotta get in the mood, yo. What's going on, guys? It is Aldo, and I am in Colombia. If you couldn't tell by the sick ass clips I put at the beginning of this video, I'm with my boy Rodrigo, and we are taking over Colombia for a very long time. Taking over, you know. But um, today, we are in La Candelaria, and we're gonna be checking out a couple sick ass museums. There's one called El Museo del Oro. There's El Museo Botero. I could be butchering these guys, so my apologies. And there's another couple ones that we're gonna see. Um, we wanna see some of the shops, wanna record some of that, and just show you around La Candelaria, one of the most prestigious, nicest parts of Bogota. So I'm very excited to get this day going. My boy's excited too. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for a lot of sick ass videos. Your boy's back. I am sorry about not posting for so damn long, but that's gonna change, guys. Yo, and real quick, real quick, can you guys let me know how the goatee is looking? My boy said I should keep it. And he said some facial hair is better than none, correct? It is, for sure, at least at this age. Yeah, so let me know if I look like a complete disaster or if I look good. <laughs> Yo, no cap, this line is pretty long, unfortunately. Yeah, but I think it's gonna be worth it. We might be here for a while, but it's whatever. Yeah, we're we got get, time. We got time. I think they're doing like a whole, um, um, like thermometer check so if you guys are planning on coming here just expect some of that I know that um, I didn't put it in the video but we got in Colombia last night guys um, and we uh, checked into the hostel and the first thing they asked us for was the vaccine card Yeah. so if you're vaccinated it's definitely easier to move around yeah just because some spots will require vaccination honestly I didn't want to be vaccinated but I am vaccinated good of the people I guess guys so I leave that up to you I don't make judgments for you or it's your life it's your life right Make your own damn decision. Damn, bro, you're looking thick as hell. Thank you, sir. Oh, man. Give me a sir. Yeah, thank you. 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 Yeah, thank
she has a nice little group around her. She's probably a popular lady here in Bogota. Um, but uh, I'm excited. Yeah. Rod's not really that excited, but he's, I was like, he's shaking. He's shaking. Yeah, I'm shaking in my boots. Yeah. Oh man, seeing them now. <laughs> this is dope. We got it right here. Hormigas. They look something like that. And. We're about to try it. I'm just yeah. waiting for my change, but we're about to try it. Yeah. Yeah. Nancy. 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 Se llama hormiga culona porque tiene culo grande. Culo grande. Sin cirugía. Sin cicatrices. Sin operaciones. Sin Todo natural. Puro culo natural. Ah, sí, sin silicona. Sin dolor. Sin pagarle al cirujano. Gracias, señora. Buen día. So we are sitting here outside of El Museo de Oro, right behind there. Um, and we are low-key regretting this decision of, of buying that. At least I am. I think Rod's looking pretty excited, but he's almost half drooling for that. See him back there. But listen, guys, we are about to try this. The just I wanted to wrap up the whole museum of Oro segment. It was pretty dope. Yeah, no, museum, I loved right? it. Yeah, it was, it was, it was just fast. great. It's honestly, if you guys are in the Bogota area, make sure to check it out. What were you gonna say? You know, it's very fascinating. Just see history and why these people made all these artifacts left yeah. behind. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously you want to travel, you want to have fun. Uh, for those that like to party and like to drink, obviously that's what you want to do. But there is time, there's a time and a place to check these places out and they're super sick. I really enjoyed it. Um, but now, to what you guys really want to see. You guys really want to see us eat these. Oh, 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 before you open them. This lady, for those that don't speak Spanish, I'm gonna include that clip in there, but these these ladies yeah. call these las hormigas culonas. So what that means. Big butt uh, ant. Big butt ants. Literally the translation. And what was she saying about her big butt oh, ants? Oh yeah, she was like, no surgery, all natural. All natural. So no surgery, none of that, um, no, no shots, no, no uh, cuts. Surgery, Everything is uh, natural. So these things, let me show you them. Focus. If you could tell, they have some big butts on them. So, we're about to just get over with this and get it done. Let's go. So to make it fair, me and Rod decided we're gonna flip a coin to see who has to try this first. Honestly, I don't know if it's better going first or last. So I just wanna leave it up to fate, cause this is gonna be terrible regardless in my opinion. So we're gonna go gold sign with the, the these both sides, these look identical. The one that looks like tails, and we'll call this one heads, cause this one has like the actual number on it, the other one is blank. So, I'll go with heads? Yeah, tails. I'll do tails. Flip? Yeah. Heads! So I goes, go first. Who goes first? Okay. So, I go, actually, shit. <laughs> I don't know why I don't you know were about hyped. This. I don't know why I was hyped, guys. This, this sounds like a terrible idea. Anyways, Fun fact, go. I was said I would go first, and he was like, what do you mean? So then I was like, I'm head honcho, so I gotta go first. He's not head Brought up this bullshit about a coin. Alright, whatever, guys. Alright, so listen. Nice and straight, bro. My boys can't see me all crooked now. Come on. So listen, we got this right here. Pack is opened. I'm gonna go with one, cause I'm... Oh no. <laughs> Let's see it. Bro, they smell like shit. The smell is pretty awful. Is it focusing? Hold on. Yeah, you see it there? Guys, it smells pretty terrible. Oh my God, bro. These things are huge, bro. Yeah, bro. Come on, bro. Right. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. Oh my god. Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that's it right there, guys. This thing got a fat butt, bro. Bad. This is the one time in my life where a fat butt is not wanted nor needed. So, All right. let's go. Three, two, one. Alright, what are your first thoughts? You just bite into it. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Bro, that smells disgusting. That's I'm terrible. Doing it. What do you mean you're not doing yeah. Alright, Rod, so Rod almost pussied out, but I got him to do it. I was that taste is still in my mouth. It's fucking terrible, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Put that shit in your mouth, go. It's pretty good. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm serious. You like that? It's not bad, actually. I thought it was way worse. You're soft, bro. This for that matter, you know the one. Hey, le gustó. 
Yo, Rod, I am still in awe of you, bro. You are, this man is different. I just love food. Just show him his, his respects. You gotta give the man his flowers the when it's salute. due. I'll salute you. But listen, guys, I completely failed. I couldn't eat one completely. It tasted terrible. Um, but now, it's about time to get food, so. Oh wait, put it back. If you're wondering what it tastes like, yeah, kind it's of bitter, almost like barbecue chip, but no, not even barbecue chip. No, barbecue chip, he's making it sound good. Listen guys, I, I'll tell you the raw, unedited version of what that tastes like. Think of a farm animal's ass. Don't ask me how I know that. I got some shocking well, stories I don't want to describe. Like it. it smells like it and it tastes like it, bro. And the texture is as bad as you would think just because of like the legs and all that. Not enjoyable, if but. If I had to compare it, it's like if you got garden catering or like let's say a regular deli chicken nuggets with fries and you put too much seasoning. It tastes kind of like too much seasoning. Yeah, he's kind of nuts, but I don't know how he liked it. But my respect, my respect. Yeah, you, you got know. your flowers. So quick story time. Now that we're walking to La Candelaria, I'm gonna show you some of the clips so you guys can see kind of what this area of the city looks like. It's beautiful. Um, but the quick story is yesterday we arrived in Bogota, center of Bogota, and Rod is a witness. We were with the taxi or the pirate Uber, and we were just kind of getting a tour of Bogota, and then the plan was to go to the hostel and get some food afterwards. Unfortunately, as soon as we started driving, not even 20 minutes in to being in Bogota, there was a bus that got jumped and robbed. Three guys with blades went into a bus, a bunch of old people. I saw an old lady get her, her uh, purse stolen. So, reason why I'm bringing this up is, it is a sad story, obviously you don't want to see it, but there is crime everywhere, and obviously Colombia's not excluded, especially yeah. Bogota. It's, uh, keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled, just be careful when you're here. Um, but yeah, it was terrible to see, especially 20 minutes into this new country. We're still loving it, and we're still really enjoying it. Enjoying it, but um, thought I would let you guys know.